We even moved up and down with it. We walked around with it. We got into the isolated tosses. I don't want that. <laughs> and then there's also the the anti-spin toss is the one we did next. So that was palms down. Then we push up and pass through the center. And that one too. You know, I'm always encouraging people to move more. So even try and do it with like a stylized walk or something. Play with it. Anti-spin toss. And then we did the, the big double rainbow toss. We clap. So that was the same as the isolated toss, but with more oomph. More arcing higher. And that was our little toss section. And then we did some work with our butterflies, including this one. It might be everybody's least favorite right now. <laughs> but the idea is that you can kind of let that butterfly shape float around, and you can just keep one beating it, and it allows it to go wherever it wants. And you can freeze it. Because with the two beat, you actually have to keep moving more so they don't hit each other. With the one beat, it can just sit wherever you put it. That's kind of what I like about it. So you have this ability to float that butterfly wherever you want. After that, we went into this, where we're overlapping our stabs off center, and we're rotating them in between our arms, coming up or down. And we would wrap that on our neck up here, and switch on our neck. Then we started to play with that switch everywhere. We can switch on our neck, we can switch on our torso, we can switch neck, torso, front leg, back leg, switch around our partner, and played with that whole style of putting the center of the staff at the center of the move, and then pushing, grabbing, and switching the staff. Well, you're going up here, the person down below is doing this. So come on, and then we started doing some cross stuff, putting the pinwheel. And using this grip with the thumb, when we lay it up, grab it nice and easy, and then have a couple of things we can do with it. And then pass it around, behind us, or pass it over our head, turn with it. Or bring it actually around and kind of right around our neck like that. It's all mostly with the same grip. There's also a lot of other ways that we didn't cover today to explore gripping two staffs. And so if you want to get into that, there's definitely more of it out there. But then we actually put all that into sort of a combination, I think, with the pin wheel. So we can lay it up, pass it around. Bring it back front here, to the pinwheel. And from here, the one that I gave you as homework is to take it out into that two-beat version. So your stabs are one in each hand, and your wrists are not actually releasing it. And you're keeping that quarter time with two beats in the same direction. One staff is inside your arms, while one staff is outside your arms. That was the end of our cross work. And then the final move I was showing you was that butterfly crossing weaving business. And we take a butterfly and we fold the two beats both on the one side of our body. It keeps going with the same rhythm, front, back, front, back. But one hand is in close and one hand is far away. We're rotating that whole package of our arms and torso from front to back to keep opening that space so they don't hit each other. And then we get this weaving going on. And I showed you that you can start to play around with it a little bit, combine it from one side to the other. <laughs> or just bring it in and out of the butterfly. And so, it's a lot of moves. But like I said at the beginning, it's not about just the moves. You want to be able to put them together. So if I were to jam out only with techniques I've taught you today, it could still look really cool, right? 
because I could take all these moves and actually put them into something. Ha, 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 ha.